Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? Well, today I'm going to do, okay, let me fix this. I'm going to do some coffee dyeing. Um, I'm going to use some instant coffee. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I'm just going to dye a bunch of extra scraps that I have. Uh, I actually have these half index cards. Now, I got these, believe it or not, in Oregon the last time I was there. And I brought them back thinking I was going to use them for something. I haven't gotten around to it, but I do want to use some and coffee dye just a few of these. So we're going to coffee dye some of these today. Uh, not too many, but a few. And then we'll save the rest for some jelly plate. That will be fun. I'm going to coffee dye some of these. Um, I think these were from the Dollar Tree. Did they say I don't know for sure, but I think so. So we're going to coffee dye some of these paper um, nap, uh, doilies. I also want to coffee dye some of this extra book paper I have, and I have quite a bit of it. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to get to, but I have a whole stack here. So we're going to coffee dye some book pages. We're going to coffee dye just some regular copy paper. This is just eight and a half by 11 cheap copy paper that you can get anywhere. I want to copy dye. Here's a music sheet that I want to copy dye. Why don't we try to see what this looks like copy dyed? It's a deli sheet. Why not? Shall we see what that looks like copy dyed? I've never tried it, so let's try that. Um, I don't know. Does this thing have oh, been sewn? I must have practiced something. Hi, Gray. How you doing, sweetie? So, yeah, let's just stick that in the junk jar. And I want to copy dye some of this uh, Asian paper. So we're going to rip some of this out of here very gently. <clears throat> yeah, wasn't that gently enough? So yeah, we'll just copy dye this up and see how this comes out. So let's just leave that together. It's fine. So let's coffee dye some Asian paper and get some, look at the signatures are coming out kind of nice. Let's see if I can get lucky and keep those together. If I was actually paying attention, I know I could, but I'm not, so I don't really care. Here we go. Okay, I don't care about these jagged edges. I might cut them off. So that's plenty of that. So we're going to coffee dye that. Um, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh, I just have some pieces of paper that are from my cutoffs um, when I ship things. Those are from the labels. Uh, here's a green tabular page or whatever. That would be good. And I think, why don't I just do a couple of these like papers as well? They're kind of like cardstock. Okay, so that, I think that's a good start. We'll be here all day if I do much more than that. But this is like my scrap paper bin um, for, um, well, here, let's, copy, let's dye some of these. Let's copy dye some of these. Okay, these little, there you go. I think that'll be a good start, right? And then um, we will see if that's enough. And then, um, so that'll get us going. So I'll see you at the... Uh, the oven. Okay, I'll be right there. Guys, we are over at the uh, stove with the oven. Uh, I had it at 200, but it didn't seem to be hot enough, so I put it at 250. I made a solution of this really cheap instant coffee from the Dollar Tree, and I just made it really, um, really dark. Maybe it could be a little bit darker, but that's okay. I, I want enough for one more batch. And then I've got some Lipton tea. I used four bags. One of them is a green tea because that's all I can find. Well, there's probably more in there, but for now, that's what I used. And I've got those in the microwave steeping in some water. And I've also started with some um, papers, but they are from a different... Oh, look. Ooh. My goodness. And they're toasty. They're toasty, toasty. I don't want to burn myself. So let me pull that out. And let me pull the other one out. Ooh, they're brown. They're... They look like cookies. Oh, those are nice. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Pardon the noise. I couldn't be any louder if I tried. Oh, okay, cancel that. So they were in there for about, I don't know, um, look at how pretty. Um, for about I don't know, seven minutes, five, seven minutes. 
So now uh, I'm just gonna move those off to the side and then we're gonna do another batch together. So there we go. And they're, they're, they're almost completely dry, um, but you can see that they, they really do need to be ironed. So let's go ahead and do a batch together. I'm gonna do this kind and I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm going to try to um, crumple these a little, a little bit so that, actually I want to put a whole bunch in there at the same time so that uh, <clears throat> it sits in there a while, you know. So you want to soak them just for a second. I mean, it doesn't have to be long, but uh, just for a minute. Oh, did you see what I just did? Oh yeah. And if there's not completely covered, that's okay too. I'm not going to totally worry about it. But yeah, I'd like to see some, I'd like to see some coverage on this batch, and then uh, yeah. So yes, yeah, so it's I'm just using cheap instant coffee, and I'm just using Lipton tea because it's in what it was what was in my um, in my oh yeah that's a nice color. I had done this earlier, and I didn't think that it was very. Um, dark enough so this is dark enough you want it pretty dark you guys okay so I'm just gonna crum crumple them like that I think they might dr number one uh, dry a little faster that's my my thought and then they'll have more crinkly uh, pieces to them if you know what I mean they'll have it's okay if it tears a little bit you really don't want to tear it but if it does it does I'm not gonna cry over tear teared paper right so there we go and then we'll just go ahead and, and that way you can get more on the sheet too so Let's put some more in there. And I don't care if my hands get um, dye, coffee dyed this weekend. My nails and my hands are a complete mess this weekend. I've been packing, so you'd be proud of me. I have been packing. I'm gonna try to get myself out of here as much as possible. I'm not dressed appropriately, so there we go. So yeah, I've been packing and um, I'm feeling pretty okay. I am back. This this batch is dried, and aren't they lovely? They're just lovely. They kind of got brown around the edges a little bit, and just so different and neat looking. So that's a new batch, and the other ones should be ready to pull out. But before I pull them out, I'm just going to lay these down on here um, and let them let them dry. I'm going to let these go flat. I think. Or at least uh, yeah these are nice so I think about six minutes is what I'm thinking so I found these or actually somebody sent me these today so I'm gonna lay these on here they're like little cutouts <clears throat> and I'm gonna lay these on here to see if it makes any kind of a pattern I think that would be cool so let's try that on these a little pattern and now let's pull the other ones out. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's warm and toasty in there. Just like bacon bread. Okay. So yeah, these are crispy. Ooh, don't you love that? Oh, I love these. I like how they're a little, you know, they've got some extra texture to them because of the way they were laid, laid down, or not laid down actually, uh, the way they were crumpled. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to be really gentle with them. You know me when I say that. That's not necessarily true, but I'm going to put them over. Okay, okay. Isn't that pretty? That turned out really nice. So uh, I think six minutes at three, um, 325 is a good starting point. That's what I'm going to put. So I've got 325 on. I love these. Super cute. And um, let's go ahead. This one's still a little damp, but it will dry quick enough. So let's go ahead and put some of these on here. And like that. This on there. And these on there. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, you'll have that. Okay, I don't need the little rippy rippy oh I ripped it <laughs> not so good at that part let's not worry about those let's do a couple more of these just kind of let's 
just boy, these are gentle paper. You got to be really gentle with these papers, otherwise you will be sorry. And I'm not minding over flat overlapping them like this, just to see those little extra lines and some extra texture is fine with me. Okay. Good boy. Oop, oh boy. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and do it like so. Like so and like so. Okay. So let's put those in there and see what happens for six minutes. But I'd like, before I do, I kind of want to, like to rip, take that off. As much as that wet as I can get. So hold on. Oh, pardon me, guys. I'm going to grab a paper towel. <clears throat> And uh, size some of that up. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put that in there. Whoops. Now I've, got, now I've just turned it up to 500. So let's go back to 325. I'm really curious to see if these will make any kind of uh, marks. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So let's try six minutes and with, without. I'm gonna go with five, just to see because. Uh, the oven seems like it's hotter. So, 5 at 325, is that what I said? Okay. Alright, so we're done with this kind for now. Um, let's just go ahead and do some Asian paper. Get that soaking in there. I'm going to crinkle it a pinch. it for a minute. There we go. Okay. Maybe another piece. All right. Let's let these go and I will be right back. Okay. I'm back. The bottom, this one had to come out real fast because they dried so quickly. So like within, I had that at five minutes, but isn't that pretty you guys? That turned out really nice. So I think we will do some more of like that, but on the long side. So, um, so that's that's a great great thing. So let me put these over in the stack. Um, let me check the other ones because they're they're going faster now. I think the oven is heating up. Let's see. Um, I think this would be okay to bring out now. So that's uh, that's four minutes. So three twenty five at four minutes. And those are gorgeous. Super pretty. Now they're not completely 100% uh, dried, but ow, oh goodness, be careful, it's hot. Hello. Um, oh, I like that one. But um, yeah, I think because the pans are getting really hot now. All right, so let's do some more. Let's get these uh, Asian papers in there. Um, yeah. And I think we'll just. I think we'll just go like so. Oh, it's sizzling, you guys. It's literally sizzling. So let's just do like so. Put that in. I think 300. I don't know. I'm a little scared of going too high, but I was watching. What was I watching? somebody online the other day and she had it at like 400 i'm like oh my god i'm so scared to put my oven at 400 to bake regular stuff let alone paper so let's put these in there and see what happens and i think i'm gonna set it to three minutes and check it when i layer it like that oh darn it i should have put some of that on there but that's okay so what we'll do now is i'm not going to do this jelly paper i'm not sure about that so let's just do a few pieces of um, 
book paper. Scratch up a little bit. And I don't think I'm going to have to use the lemon, uh, the, uh, I won't be using the tea today. We're just going to be doing coffee dye because we'll do the tea dye in another video and um, we'll go from there. So, but what I'd like to do, scrunch these up, get them in there while that's cooking, while those are baking away. And then I would like to, um, I'm going to put some doilies on these. You know what I mean? Let's cut some doilies out. Let's throw these on these little guys when I put it. I'll lay them out flat because I'm really loving that. Um, they're drying fairly quickly that way. And uh, so, yeah, so I have these doilies and I'm just going to open them up away from the stove because I don't want the plastic to melt. Um, yeah. I'm using my, my teethers. Okay, so we'll use a couple of these. And just lay those on there and see what happens, right? Um, yeah, I'm not even going to uh, dye them because I think they'll get dyed enough. You know, they'll get dirty enough. These turned out really pretty. I forgot to set the timer. I'll go with uh, two minutes. Isn't that pretty? So now I have plenty of, t of dyed papers. Super cute. I like that. All right, let me pull these out or just look at them real quick while you guys are still with me. Um, oh, my, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I could pull these out. They're not completely dry, but they're dry enough. Oh, sorry for all the banging around. Oh, goodness. But, wow, isn't that cool? So what was that, about two minutes? Oh my gosh. I love the Asian, so that's really cute. Okay, so let me pull that off of there. Try not to burn myself. You, I'm glad I don't have any kids right now, because I would probably burn somebody, oh, you know. So I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna put one of these on there, and just see what happens. You know, just. Another one. Okay. Pressing it in there, trying to get it. Let's just see what happens with those. Okay, I'm going to put this in for two. I'm going to start the timer at two minutes. Ooh, it's hot, you guys. That's why it's going on. It's a. Uh, the oven is heating up. This is not something you can do uh, in the summer. <laughs> I, would, I would strongly advise don't do this in the summer. Because, and don't do this while you're having a flash. Because you'll be very unhappy. <laughs> Even you know what I mean. I'm going to put this like so. And we're just going to layer a couple. Just like so. See what happens. Let's put one over here. I'm loving, I'm loving it, you guys. I'm having fun getting into a zone here. A little bit of a little bit of a thing. Okay, let's see. Let's go put these in there and see what happens. Okay, I want to uh, dab that out. Sorry about all the racket. my goodness, I can't do this without making a lot of noise, it appears. I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to do just some plain paper now. And I'll do the same thing. Are you still? What does that say? Uh oh, low battery. So I'm going to have to stop here for a second and charge my phone, which is probably a good idea anyway. So let's just get this part done, and then I'll do some more on my own. And uh, you you get it, right? And so, um, yeah. And then, okay, 13 minutes left on the two minutes. And then, let's see. Woo, boy. Okay, is that making a... Oh, it's making a thing. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for another minute. Cancel. And I'm gonna go for another, actually two minutes. Okay. And while that's cooking, let's take a look at these really pretty. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that, that's so fun. We got quite a little pile going on and then we'll iron them. So I'm not hating this, you guys. I didn't think I liked doing it, but I actually do. I'm actually, I'm actually not, not hating it. So, um, yeah, so we'll do it again. But so basically go to the Dollar Tree, get some of this, make some really dark coffee. You know, don't spend a fortune on a lot of expensive coffee. I just use Lipton tea because that's what I have. And I usually make iced tea out of this. Um, I wouldn't have drank this anyway because it's not decaf. I don't like anything that's uh, not decaf on my cough, on my tea. Because I usually, when I want tea, I like, oh, this is done. I like tea at night. So, and I'm going to pull this one. Honestly, I'll leave that. But look at that. Pretty, just a little, just faintly. And I just think that's sweet. Okay, and then these are dyed too. You didn't even have to actually do anything. So let's put these on here while the other ones are toasting up in there. Sizzling, look at that, it's sizzling. And I don't mind layering it like that, getting lines on it, I just really don't. So, okay, let's put this in there. And let's lay that on there. Pull the other one out. Try not to make so much racket. I'm not doing such a good job. I apologize. Woo! Pull this out. And start a timer for, start for three minutes. Cancel. Oh, not 30. Cancel. <laughs> oh boy. And let's see how these did. Oh, these did pretty good as well. I love these just faintly dyed, you know, just like they're speckled a little bit. And that's totally fine with me. And that's awesome. I love that. Just, can you see it? It's pretty. Oh, there's another one. I just love the faint doily on there. I'm not, I don't need a whole, you know, so. Yeah. That's pretty, isn't that? Look at that color. Wow, that's great. You guys, this is fun. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, and then the next time I see you, we will be ironing, and we'll talk about it. Hi, guys. I'm back. I wanted to show you something really quick, because after some out trial and error, I think I found maybe a trick to not ripping the paper. So let me move this over so you can... Ow, I keep burning myself. <laughs> So you can kind of see. So the th what I've been doing at the very end, turn this down a little bit, is just putting it in like that on one side and then using my hand to kind of stick it in the other way. And that way there's no like tension on the paper. Look, and then when you lay it down, it doesn't rip. Okay, so let's try that again. So this is what kind of worked for me um, the last few pages that I did because I was tearing paper right and left, but I found out if you use this stick it to your hand method, um, like so, and then just use it to lay down like that, you're not going to, uh, rip the pages. So let me do that again. So I found us a trick, you guys, because I got tired of ripping these darn pages. I was like, there was nothing I could do. So stick it to your hand, turn it around. Turn it around and flip it, and then just lay it down without any drama. Like if it just lays like that, you better just leave it like that, you guys. I'm just saying because if you pick it up, you will rip it. So I, <laughs> I know that for a fact. So and then I'm almost done here. So I just wanted to do this to show you, and then we will start ironing out our, um, our, uh, our things now. So. And boy, did I make a mess. And wow, wasn't it fun. Okay, I'm going to stick those in. <sighs> Lovely coffee dyed oven while we're at it. And I will be back shortly with an iron. Hi guys, it's time to iron. Now, I don't know for sure 
if, um, wow, my iron's dirty. It's, I don't use it very often, obviously, but I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm sorry about the shadow. That shadow is me, <laughs> sorry. But I don't know if it's a good idea to iron straight on the paper. I don't want to ruin this iron, so I just, I'm going to fold over like so. Uh, I don't want to ruin my iron. I keep meaning to pick up an, an iron, oh, I don't need to do that. Pick up an iron while I'm at the thrift store just for my paper crafts, because there's obviously, um, well, there's no, for number one, there's no paper setting on any iron, but uh, I don't want to wreck my, my, uh, my, this iron. I do love this iron. It's probably one of the better irons I've had. I think that's pretty good. So I hope you stuck with me, uh, during some of the video because I found a way finally after hit and miss how not to tear the paper. Uh, so, uh, go, if you haven't seen it, go back right at the very end and I, I showed you how I found a little, I created a little trick, um, that worked for me. I'm sure it will work for you too, to where you don't rip the paper because I was ripping paper right and left, but right at the very, very end, see that right at the very end, I, I was able to, let's see if this, this, look at that. This must've been, oh, you know what? This was already cut this paper. This is the leftover from my, um, when I send out my, uh, my Etsy, uh, my Etsy, <clears throat> I keep wanting to go like that because I always use that, my Etsy labels, I always cut off that end piece and uh, I don't like to waste it. So, so that's what those are there. So yeah, but aren't those beautiful, you guys? Oh, how much fun. So now I don't have to worry about it. I have paper. I have tea dye. I have coffee dyed paper. Now I didn't do tea dyed today. I did some of this because and it's still a little wet. I wonder if I can, should I try it? Oh, let's just see what happens. I, I don't know if it'll ruin it or not. Well, if it does, then, well, then I have to buy a new iron. No, actually, I think it's fine. Oh, I'd hate to ruin it though, you guys. Somebody tell me in the comments if this is gonna ruin my iron or not. And in the meantime, I'm not going to, I'm gonna try not to ruin my iron because I really, truly love this iron, so. I'm going to continue with this. Can't hurt. And so anyway, um, yeah. So basically, uh, you just check it out. It's really easy not to rip the paper once I figured out how to do it. And uh, yeah, so please don't look at my nails. I have been packing. I did not do my nails this weekend. That's the last thing on my list. And right now, my nails are down to the quick. I can't get them to be to grow to save my life right now. But that's okay. That's so fine. But isn't this pretty? Look at that. I'm, I'm doing it on the paper. Uh-oh. I just love this. Okay, so you'll see that these last pieces that I did are not ripped. They're just perfect. And then as I go down the stack, they're going to be more ripped. But I didn't do I didn't do too many more unripped ones because I, I um, the coffee was low and uh, I was just ready to be done. Uh, I've got a lot of paper now for my... Um, for my paper stash. Uh, I will be doing some more tea dye. So stick stick around. I'll, I'll do a tea dye one. Maybe I can show you how to show you again right out the get-go how not to rip the paper on the tea dye one. I wonder if I can turn this up a little bit since I'm using, here we go, since I'm using this nap, um dish towel. Look at that. How pretty is that? It almost looks like an eco dye, which is on my list of things to do when I get to Oregon. So yeah. So this is kind of a fun, relaxing thing to do. For us paper lovers, you get to feel every inch of it. Isn't that pretty? What an interesting piece, right? What an interesting piece. And again, another one that's not ripped because I did so well at the end. There's only a few not ripped because then I stopped. I thought, okay, I've got this. I got this. I'm good. And I will show you my stash uh, folder right now real quick. That I plan on. See, it's, it's just good to have this in... I decided it would be better to move a uh, supply than a stash. So um, here is, this is what I have for 
this is all I have for coffee dyed and, and Kool-Aid dyed paper. That's it. This is my stash. I don't have any. So can you see that I actually really needed some really, really bad? Like I have none. So this was a necessary thing to do and uh, might as well wreck this kitchen because boy did I <laughs> then my new kitchen. But I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of messes in my new kitchen as well and that's just fine too. So Oh, I'm spraying water on there. That's a habit. So. Well, this paper's cotton, so shouldn't it be high? Am I right? How, how, how high do you guys put it? Can somebody put in the comments how high you put it? So. <sighs> Uh-oh, my door's open. I hope Gracie didn't go out. I will be right, because she will sneak out that door. Hold on. She'll be back. She won't go far, but she'll go outside and sit on the patio. Hold on. No, she stayed in. She was a good girl. She's on my bed. Of course she is, because my bed is brand new, freshly made. So she's such a diva, you guys. You put, put, make the bed, and the first person that has to be on there is Gracie. Person? Kitty cat. So, yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and iron, and I'll be quiet and maybe add some music for you. I'll try. If I don't, then I don't. Then I'll just speed it up or something. I'm going to try to upgrade my videos a little bit. heart so pretty my neighbors outside. I might have to stop for a minute while they're making so much racket out there. Okay, let's do a couple of these. Pretty, really pretty.
seems to be fine. Not pretty, super pretty. I'm not gonna iron them all tonight for you. I mean, I'll iron them for me for my file, but not not for you. You don't need to see all that. But these are the ones that turned out really pretty. Aren't those cute? Love these. Um, Asian paper. I got lazy and stopped covering up. Maybe that iron is too hot. Maybe that's why it's curling, huh? Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back after ironing and I just wanted to show you, I did go ahead and coffee dye one of these um, little jelly plates and it really turned out kind of good. It didn't leave it in there long and it's not a dark, but the texture is pretty cool. So that's cool. And these got dyed just by being on top of the uh, paper, so those are great. And I've got lots of... Um, different prints from the um, the uh, doilies and then these turned out kind of cute this one's not quite dry yet Oops, I better leave that alone so then these turned out pretty nice a really cool coffee color and then these turned out really nice and I love 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 the uh, coffee dye um, eight and a half by 11 it turned out great and once I learned my trick of how not to rip it I was very happy and the text turned out great really cool as well as the um, graph paper that's pretty neat pretty neat so I have a nice little stash going here now you guys so I'm really pleased with the stash and then of course the Asian paper turned out really pretty I mean super pretty look how dark this one is how gorgeous just yummy just yummy 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 so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh i have a lot more but i'm not gonna you you know you can see i have like almost twice as much again but i need to iron it and i'm going to go ahead and put it in my folder so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh coffee dye uh tutorial and i will be back someday soon with a tutorial for tea dyeing and we'll go over the trick that i figured out tonight as well so that um, we don't rip the pages so that I'm very pleased with that that little find so there we go these are going to end up in my stash and eventually in some journals when I get back to making journals when I get to Oregon so thank you for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys